Hi, welcome to a new video. In this one, I want to take a look at one of my favorite ways to finish the guillotine when somebody has a good defense. Uh, guillotines is one of my favorite uh, submission um, families. I've been doing it for a while, I've made instructionals about them, and um, especially my main training partners, they know uh, what I'm going to do and they know how to defend it really well. So this variation I'm going to work on today, the diesel squeezel, is one uh, thing I like to do against my training partners that really know my game well because then it uh, still works. So uh, first let's take a look at the, the, the idea of the guillotine. We come here, we go to the guillotine and I like to get my partner on the same side as their head and then I finish. But of course people will get a little bit smarter so as I fall they will start jumping to the other side and now I lose a lot of the pressure of the guillotine. Now she can keep her head straight, her neck is open and uh, she can even talk normally here. Can you talk Jackie? Yes I can. Very comfortably because there's no pressure on the neck. So what I like to do instead, when I feel people pass, I go for the diesel squeeze. So let's take a look at the, the mechanics of that. So right here, I go around with my arm, then I grab my own fist, uh, my own wrist, and I put my fist into the neck. That's the idea. So here I cut off both sides of the neck to get the strangle. Instead of where the guillotine where she can posture out, now I lose the power. I put it in the neck, cutting off both sides of the, of the neck, and then I get a, a tap, very nasty submission. How do I do this in practice? I like to do this when I lose the guillotine. So people move their body and their heads on opposite sides. I lose the pressure of the guillotine. Then this one still works. It doesn't matter. Um, the body position doesn't matter as much as in the normal guillotine. Normal guillotine, I need to be on my side. Um, I need to do a lot of things to curl her down. This one works even when she's in a straight up posture. So that's when we grab the fist and get it in. So let's take a look at that. We come here. Jackie starts defending by walking to the correct side. Here. Now, if you uh, just open your arm so they can see. Yes, there we go. I grab my own fist and I get the tap, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we grab our own fist, push it into the neck. Then we get a really strong strangulation actually. We're cutting both sides of the neck off. That's when we get the tap. One more time. We're here. Jackie starts defending to the correct side. Here, I grab the neck and I get the tap. Important detail, um, when I started learning this move, uh, I saw variations with the arm in. So here, and then people put the fist in. Now with Jackie, I might be able to do it, but when somebody's a little bit bigger, it's gonna be hard. Uh, especially for me, I'm uh, a little bit lighter competitor. So in training against bigger people, I like to do this without the arm. So even if I attack an arm in guillotine, when I feel I lose it, I pull the arm back, okay? So I pull it back to just attack the neck. I don't wanna be with the arm in. Against people with bigger arms, broader shoulders, that's a little bit harder. So um, maybe if you have really long arms, you can do it. But for me, the variations without the, the arm in works best. Now let's take a look at how I use that in competition. It's a little bit different. The angle is not perfect, but um, it is a move that I use at a, a competition. So my opponent has a pretty decent uh, defense against the arm in guillotine, but I make the switch to the diesel squeeze and get the tap. Let's look at that again. So I'm attacking the arm in guillotine from top this time. So not from bottom, like in the, the video where I use it most often. But in this case, I use it from top. As he's defending, look, I make the transition with the arm that we talked about earlier. It's very hard to see on this angle, but I switch uh, so that the arm is not in anymore. From here, there's a lot of pressure on the neck. My opponent still tries to hold on, tries to hand fight a little bit. But then eventually, cutting off both sides of the neck gets me the tap. So even from top, it can work. There are other strategies to use when people pass to the side. I have a few on my instructional. Uh, you can find it in the link below, the guillotine revolution. But this is uh, my favorite against people that are comfortable with defending guillotines, the people I train with a lot on a daily basis. This is the one I, uh, I still manage to hit from time to time. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys next time.